So, uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. So, Bun Life to Live. Yeah. Uh, General Bunspittle. The Bun and the Restless. <laughs> I am being haunted. Did you know about this? Of course you didn't know about this. 115% true. I am being haunted by the ghost of Bob Marley. Really? And I'm also... And I'm also being hunted by the ghost of math. I don't know why math has a ghost, but I'm being hunted <laughs> by the ghost of Bob Marley and the ghost of math. It's very interesting. So here's what here's what happened. I was at work. I was in receiving. Uh-huh. And on any given day, I will open anywhere from 60 to 120 boxes. Maybe yeah. less than that. Maybe more than that. Uh, I think like 147, 155, somewhere around there is the most that I've received and then opened and then uh, uh, shelved in any given day. Yeah. Which, but uh, that's round about the ballpark. And oh man, the boxes are full with uh, 20 items, 40 items, 50, sometimes 60 items, a lot of items. So, um, so put that off to the side. I was listening to my work playlist in receiving. Nobody's getting it. So I was at work and I was listening to my work appropriate playlist. At yes. the time, there were 1,500 songs on my work appropriate playlist. Okay. Yeah. 1,500 songs. This is where the math comes in. Of those 1,500 songs, approximately four of them were Bob Marley songs. Okay. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of Bob Marley. I'm a greatest hits guy with Bob Marley. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm a greatest hits with Bob Marley. I'm a fan of Beatles. I'm a greatest hits of Bob Marley. That's just who I am. Right. So, Excuse I... Me, yes, honey? Greatest hits are for housewives. Yes. Greatest hits are for Housewives and Little Girls. But every time I think of Bob Marley, I just think of so many Bob Marley posters on the walls of white frat boys. I just can't get that out of my head. In my mind, I'm sure that for a lot of other people, Bob Marley represents Jamaican music. But in my head, Bob Marley is the music of white frat bros that wear puka necklaces. Mm-hmm. That's just that's just in my head, and I can't get it out. So the just that alone, the odds of a Bob Marley song playing on my phone at any given time are what? Four in 1,500. Right. So the odds of that are very, very slim. So I was at work and I was unboxing books and a Bob Marley song came on. And the moment that the Bob Marley song came on, I uh, received a box and opened up the box. And the first thing I pulled out of that box was a biography for kids on the life of Bob Marley. Okay. Now that is mathematically pretty impressive. Yes, but it is. but but that isn't that isn't just it. I started thinking about it like, wow, just the just the odds alone of a Bob Marley song coming on is amazing. And how many Bob Marley books do we have at work? We have maybe two tops. We we do not have a lot of Bob Marley books. So the odds of getting a Bob Marley book are are even like smaller than the odds of hearing a Bob Marley song and the odds of those two things happening at the same time. That's just absolutely remarkable, just statistics wise. I should tell somebody about it. Who is here in my receiving area that I can talk to about this? Oh, uh, the manager, Anne, is back there doing magazines. Uh, she seems really uh, upset because nobody likes to do magazines. But I'm going to go and tell her about this. Anne, let me tell you what just happened right now and i tell her the story that i just told you and near the end of it uh she's just continuing working she's just listening to she's just half listening to me not really paying attention just doing her own thing yeah and um and she she's just working pulling out magazines from boxes and loading them onto our magazine cart sorting them and halfway through my near the end of my story she freezes and in this really weird, uncomfortable way. And I said, what's wrong, Anne? And, and she turns and in her hands, she has a big pile of the Time Magazine special edition tribute to the life of Bob Marley. Dun, dun, dun. 
So a Bob Marley song came on my phone and I unboxed a biography of Bob Marley as we got the first ever Bob Marley magazine we've ever gotten in the store. Yeah. I told that to my manager and my manager said, wow, I wonder what fate is trying to tell you. Like, like this is some sort of message or something. And I said, well, if the message is I should get into Bob Marley, then I have a message for the fates. And that message is no. Okay. All I'm saying is that if the mystery van pulls up outside of your house, Velma yeah. is mine. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll take Fred. <laughs> no. He's not handsome, but he seems dumb. Yeah. In like this pretty boy way, you know. Yes. I think I think of all the members of like the 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 mystery gang. I think that he's probably the easiest one to manipulate. Yes. Because he's just come on, gang. Looks like we've got another mystery to solve. Yeah. Let's be honest. Show him a little penis, and he's yours. Yeah. Well, no, I I won't be showing him a little penis. Okay, okay, a little part. Okay, a little part. (laughs) Just a little bit of the the, the large thing. Gotcha. Hey, what are you doing? And then, like, two weeks later, two weeks later, I was listening to my music playlist again, and I had added a lot of music. So by this time, uh, there was 1,700 songs on my phone, and out of those 1,700 songs, only two songs on there were in any way related to Parks and Recreation, and we got in Parks and Recreation Funko Pops at the exact moment that a Parks and Recreation song came on, Yeah, and I also thought that that was impressive. I think that's more mathematically impressive, math-wise, than the Bob Marley story, but... I think that the Bob Marley story has more layers to it because we also got the magazine. We didn't get a Parks and Recreation magazine in at the right. same time. Right. That it, doesn't exist. It is, it is a lot more layered. There's a lot yeah. more coincidence yeah. going on there. 